Hey everyone, my name is Yesenia. I'm a student ambassador here at CU Denver. My major is biology and the goal is to get into dental school. I'll be your tour guide for today. Let's check out the campus. This is the International Admissions Office for all of our international friends. They benefit from opportunities such as freshmen, scholarships, and on-campus employment. Undeclared major? No worries. This is the Undergraduate Exploration and Advising Office, here to advise you on what careers to explore according to your personality. This is the Link Center, the plug. Whatever you need, they've got. Questions about payments, registering for classes, or even an email, they've got you. If you haven't gotten familiar with them, then you will. This is the Undergraduate Admissions Office, here to help you with any questions you may have throughout the application process. Let's go to the second floor. I love that every building has elevators. It makes them accessible to everyone. Here on the second floor of the Student Commons building, I will show you more student support services. This is the Center for Identity and Inclusion. They provide support for the culturally rich community here at CU Denver. You can also find community, a home away from home, by joining one of the cultural organizations or clubs. Behind me is the TRIO Student Support Services and McNair Office, here to support students that are low income, first generation, and students with disabilities. They provide mentorship and scholarships for student success. Let's go on and explore other parts of CU Denver. Welcome to the next stop on our tour. This is the North Classroom. Let's check it out. This building houses the College of Engineering and the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. This is also the primary facility for a lot of the classes. You can find two computer labs here and ample space to grab your friends and come and study. Thanks for checking out the North Building with me. Let's go check out the next stop on the tour. This is the King Center, the main performing arts for the Aurora campus. It holds music and theater productions. Let's go check it out. Let's check out the concert hall. Bravo to all the students that just performed. Weren't they amazing? Let's check out the next stop. Welcome to the Emmanuel Gallery. It's one of the oldest buildings here in CU Denver. My friend Ashley will tell you more about it. Hi, my name is Ashley and welcome to the Emmanuel Art Gallery. We are currently standing in the oldest religious structure in Colorado, built in 1876, and it was turned into an art gallery in the 1970s. We host student exhibitions and international artists, and we are free and open to the public, so come and see us sometime. Welcome to one of our downtown buildings. This is the Lawrence Street Center. It houses the College of Public Affairs, which is where our Denver Mayor Michael Hanka graduated from. You can also find the School of Human Development and Education. They offer bilingual Spanish classes and they offer the Next Gen Residency Program, a paid internship for students interested in teaching specific um, subjects. Next up on our tour, the Science Building. We're now at the Science Building. It houses a lot of science-related departments, such as biology and chemistry. Our bioengineering program is one of a kind. Students get the unique experience of studying here for two years and finishing their major at the Anschutz Medical Campus. They get to work with engineers and clinicians. This is the brand new Wellness Center. It opened up in 2018. You can come in distress here by climbing our 30 foot wall, jumping in the pool, or joining our group fitness. You can also explore Colorado by stopping at the Adventure Desk. Thanks for checking out the Wellness Center with me. Let's go to the next stop. This is the Cherry Creek River where we honor and acknowledge that we are on traditional territories and ancestral homelands of the Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Ute nations. 
Hi everyone, my name is Tessa Barker. I'm a third year student in the College of Arts and Media studying music business. Right now, we're at the CU Denver building visiting the College of Architecture and Planning. We're the only college in Colorado where you can get a major in architecture. We also have the InWorks Design Building where you can turn your ideas into action. Follow me. If you're an architecture student, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in these beautiful and spacious studios. And what better way to do it with a beautiful view of Denver? Here in the InWorks Labs, you'll learn how to use tools like 3D printers and laser cutters. It's available to all majors and you'll be able to turn your innovation into creation. Let's head to our next tour stop now. Just a block away from Auraria campus and we're in Larimer Square. This is a great off-campus hub for students where you can meet up to, with friends to study, stop at a cafe, or go shopping. Let's head to our next tour stop. Right now we're at the business building. This houses all the spaces for the CU business students, faculty, and staff. Did you know that the business school is ranked top 5% in the world? Let's check it out inside. The business school houses the JP Center for Commodities as well as the Jake Jobs Event Center. The JP Center for Commodities stimulates the stock market so students can get real life experience. Jake Jobs is one of the business school sponsors and he runs a entrepreneurship competition every year, again, so students can gain that real life experience. Let's go to our next stop. While we're downtown, I thought I'd share with you some of the best Denver hubs. Right behind me is Comedy Works. We've got 16th Street Mall just a couple blocks away, plenty of museums that you can just hop on the Lime Scooter to, and of course, Coors Field. Let's head to the Tivoli now. On our way to the Tivoli, we're gonna stop at one of these big red poles. You might be wondering what these are. These are emergency police poles. At any time, you can press this button and someone will respond from the Auraria Police Department. Let's keep going to the Tiv. I'm back. Thank you, Tessa, so much for that tour. This is the Tivoli Student Union, where students from all three campuses can unite. This building also holds tons of history originally a brewery until 1966 and has since become a historic building. In 1994, it reopened as the Student Union for the Aurora campus. Tivoli Brewery reopened in 2015. Students can also take brewery classes here too. Here you can find other student support services such as the LGBTQ service, military and veteran services, student life, and many delicious food options to choose from. Welcome to the Aurora Library. You can study with your friends on the first floor or you can study on your own on the second floor. You don't even have to come and check out books. You can check them out electronically online. Let's go on to our next stop. This is the College of Arts and Media, which focuses on visual arts, music, and film production. The only school in Colorado that focuses exclusively on the arts. Also home to many of our famous alumni. Let's go check out the music studios. Here at the College of Arts and Media, we have five industry standard recording studios. Let's check one of them out. CAMS Music Entertainment Industry Program ranks top 10 in the country. They hold state-of-the-art equipment for all your music production needs. Let's check out one of the studios. If you have any questions about the college and arts and media programs, stop by the advising office. They'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Let's move on to the next stop. Welcome to the Links Connect. Here you can find a lot of information about internships, study abroad, research, and career services. A fun fact is that you'll still have access to this building within the two years after you graduate. In the basement, we have the Comcast Center, home of the film and television programs. Let's move on to the next stop. There are four RTD stations within walking distance of campus. One on Colfax, two by CU Denver's Housing and Dining, and this one at the Convention Center. It can take you anywhere from the Denver International Airport to Denver Downtown to the mountains. Let's move on to our last stop. 
Thank you everyone for joining me at the CU Denver tour. If you have any questions, please stop by. We'd be happy to answer them. And I can't wait to see you in the city.